Lorcana fans, welcome to Gen Con. It is a busy, crazy event with lots of people. And I know that a lot of you wish you were here. So I'm gonna do my best to get you here. And one of the ways that I'm gonna do that is show you a live box break here on the Gen Con floor. Unfortunately, this morning I was playing in a tournament, so I couldn't get my own box. But I ran into a fellow Lorcana collector, player, Jeff of LorcanaCardShop.com, and he said he's gonna let me break his box in the middle of the Gen Con floor. So let's do it. So let's do this. We have Jeff watching, we have some spectators. I'm excited to see what we get. So one of the things they did with these boxes, I'm sure you've all seen, is they got rid of the cellophane and instead there's this paper pull tab. So once you rip this open, there is no going back. It means that there's really not the same danger of resales as you have with cellophane uh, wrappers like we see on Amazon. The other thing for those who aren't tracking, there are fewer booster packs in this than normal card games. We have 24 instead of the normal 36. But that's okay. Honestly, now that we've seen that there are some uh, enchanted rares in here, it's very exciting. I can't wait to see if we pull one. If we do, I might freak out in the middle of the Gen Con floor. I'm not gonna lie. So let's do this. So from what I've heard, we're gonna skip over the commons, 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 uncommon, 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 and then two rare slots. So we're starting right off with a super rare with Ariel. Put that there. Another super rare with Tink. Foil slot common. We'll put the foils down here. So there are two rare foil slots. You can get higher than a rare. So right off the bat, we've got two super rares and a common foil, which is great. In the token slot. All right, back to the commons. Common, 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 common. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Rare. Rare Ursula's necklace. And then a foil Megara for our foil. All right, let's do this. Let's slide these up. Put rares here. Super rares here. Put our foils over here. And we we'll save a spot. I'm gonna save a spot for the ultimate, the, the enchanted rare here. All right. You know, there's a lot of pressure doing this in the middle of the Gen Con hall. I, uh, I think if I was doing this at home, uh, you know, I'd have a little, a little less pressure. But ha with everything going on, it's uh, a lot of noise. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Look at this art. This is the latest Marcel Berg. If anybody hasn't seen, he does some amazing art in this set, and uh, this one is. Killer, Mr. Far. And our first legendary, I'm gonna slide these over. Legendary here, here's our enchantment spot. Um, that card wrecked my day at, uh, at the Star Deck tournament this morning. So I'm not a huge fan, but it's a beautiful card. And of course, we're all excited to see Treasure Planet at the last minute entered into the first set, which is super cool. Um, and for those who didn't see, we had a, we had a super rare foil to Ka, which um, in foil looks pretty phenomenal. I'll show that to you in a second. Here we go again. Commons, 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 uncommon, 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 un rare, poisoned apple. We have a super rare marshmallow, which did not perform well for me this morning. Um, I moved that out of my deck early on. And then we have an uncommon foil. The beast is mine. By the way, look at the foiling on this Taka. That is just phenomenal. It's really, there's some cards where the, the spot foiling really stands out and Honestly, Taka is one of them. It's super cool. All right, on to the next pack. Friends on the other side, fantastic card. Coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Rare Iago, coming in the rare slot. A legendary Rapunzel for our second legendary of the box. I think Rapunzel will be one of the most valuable cards in the first set, to be quite honest beautiful foil, Maleficent, which maybe Jeff can get signed by Nicholas Cole, who's here tomorrow um, as well. Beautiful piece. This Rapunzel, I think, is playable in many Amber decks. I think she's going to be a four of in many decks. She's a legendary. I think that will be one of the most expensive cards in the first set. So that's, I mean, a super exciting card to pull. I think. I'm a fan. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Rare, grab your swords, just in time. And in the foil slot, Jafar, common. 
So we're already, uh, what are we? Six packs in, two legendaries. Big, big fan. I, I've yet to see uh, if anybody's cracked like the legendary distribution yet, and how many are expected per box. Um, I'd be excited to know because I haven't, I have not been online much today, and I haven't seen if that's been cracked yet. All right, rare genie. I love this art. I'm sorry, big fan. We have a super rare, common Duke of Weselton, 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 the foil spot. I would, uh, I would apologize for all the noise around everyone, but that's part of the charm of being here live at Gen Con and cracking a box on the Gen Con floor, which I'm thrilled to do. Rare Fishbone Quill. Next rare Maleficent biding her time, who does work in the early game. And Tink, coming in a common, I still think this is one of my favorite pieces of art in the first set and a delightful foil. Um, Grace Tran knocked it out of the park with that one. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Here we go. Rare Maui. Super rare Mickey. And a foil Moana. So here's, this is a beautiful card. It feels super good to get a foil rare in the, in the rare slot. The one thing I will say, the one thing I will say, is for better or worse, there's no differentiation between the rares in the starter decks and the rares in the booster packs. And uh, I'm happy that those in the in this with the starter decks get to experience the same foil as, as the booster packs. It's kind of nice, but it does feel bad when you get that rare in that foil slot, and it's it's this. There's some excitement going on behind us. All right, what do we got here? We have rare. Rare Lilo, love the art. Another beautiful art piece. Um, this is fantastic. One of the pieces, or the things I love about Lorcana is highlighting some of the, you know, the not main characters in the films, um, and having her as such a fun, you know, ramp card is uh, is delightful. I did play against her this morning. I uh, let her quest quite a bit, um, three or four turns, because I was not interested in giving my opponent any ramp. Um, I don't know if that worked out for me or not, but. Uh, yeah, I left it, for, for better or worse, I left her on the board for quite a while. A whole new world, a lot of people's favorite card. I want to see this in foil, um, so hopefully we pull one. I'll be very excited. The Foil Aladdin by Peter Brockhammer, another fantastic artist. I'm going to slide all these cards up in here in a minute so we can uh, keep track of what we're getting in the, in the rare slot again, but let's keep breaking these packs for a moment. Here we go, some more commons, uncommon, uncommon. Rare Dr. Facilier, remarkable gentleman. Rare Be Prepared. And a beautiful foil Cinderella. You know, one, one thing I said early on um, is that I really think that the foils, I might be wrong, but I really think that the collectors are gonna want foils of every rarity. So even the foil commons, I think will hold some value. Um, and if I'm right, and if each foil common is at least, you know, a buck or two, um, that means every pack you're getting, you know, get a guaranteed, you know, return value of a few dollars, and if you hit the right foil, a lot more, independent of, you know, the normal rares. Another rare, another super rare, and then Minnie Mouse, another delightful foil. There's, there's another detail that I really love. Um, it's the foiling in the, in the ink symbol. Um, you know, the, the card art is cool, but that ink symbol really pops uh, in foil. And I think it's a neat, neat detail. Next pack. Another legendary. This time it's Hades by Matthew Robert Davies. British artist from London. Br So, another, uh, is this a god pack? We have, we have two legendaries in the same pack. Um, that's super cool. Jeff's leaning over and excited. It's not a god pack, but two legendaries in the same pack is pretty fantastic. Although, friends on the other side, super playable, in foil, that'll be worth some money. That is a great pack. Um, ooh, I'll tell you what. 
uh, opening these packs, you see a legendary in the first rare slot, and you think, that's it. You're like, there's, you know, maybe I got some in the foil slot. And then to turn and see a second legendary in the same pack is, uh, is pretty darn cool. Um, and one of the things that Ryan said is they designed these packs to give people the experience of opening God packs. So they really wanted that experience of cracking something um, amazing, So which is, which is pretty cool. Rare, rare, and a foil Corella. So here we are again with the great that we got a foil rare, but kind of unfortunate uh, that it's uh, one of the ones in the starter deck because there's literally no differentiation that we can find uh, between them. So maybe, maybe in future sets, who knows? All right, here we go. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Rare Jasmine. You know, for those who watch your channel, you know this Jasmine has a very special place in my heart. We got to spoil this card. She will be e forever be my favorite card in the first set. I love her to death. Robin Hood in the super rare. Ransack for a foil. All right, let me finish this stack up here. So we're moving our way through the box. We have four legendaries so far. Uh, no legendary foils. We got some foil rares. Uh, unfortunately, most of the rares are duplicates of um, the starter decks, but that's all right. Still fun. All right, we have Flotsam for the first rare. We have Scar Firebrand for the second rare. And, you know, I know the, I know the Enchanted Rares, I know the Enchanted Rares are gonna be the money maker cards in this set, but I tell you what, I said it from the beginning, I think this Rapunzel will be one of the most valuable legendaries in the first set. And to see her in foil, um, it, it just, like the legendary symbol matches, the amber symbol matches the card art, um, it's, gorgeous and I love it so much and this this is a great pull this is a fantastic pull and I'm, uh, I'm actually gonna set this over here so we can sleeve that up um, hold on this is what I get for not having sleeves really available yeah yeah sorry sorry we're gonna put this right in the sleeve I don't have my penny sleeves, but we're gonna we're gonna put that right in there because I I just love that card. I think it's brilliant. All right, all right, that made my day. Uh, now all we need is an enchanted rare. So I'm excited. I'm butchering these packs because I am I'm just jazzed to be opening Orkana. All right, we have Rockstar Stitch, everybody's favorite Stitch. Um, I kind of wish he was legendary. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so again, two super rares in a pack, and an adorable foil, I call him Baby Simba, um, here from Nicholas Cole, an artist here at Gen Con. Um, so that's a card that maybe could get signed uh, in, the next, in the next day or two. All right, I'm still buzzing from that Rapunzel. All right, here we go with Cruella. Tamatoa in for a super rare. Put him here. And then the foil Donald. Here we go. All right, I know the camera's getting a little, uh, the camera angle's a little off, but we got, uh, still got all the legendaries in the frame. Let it go for the rare. Zeus for the second rare. And a foil rare, Maurice. Now this feels good. It feels good to get a foil rare that is not uh, a starter deck rare. Um, gorgeous card. Um, I love it. I don't know. I mean, Maurice Inks, or, uh, Item Slingers is, is somewhat playable now. Um, you know, he, he'll get better in the future, I think. Um, but cool card to get foil nonetheless. Um, I love it. All right. Moving through. We have another super rare with the queen. Another legendary, a gorgeous Luis Huerta. One of the D23 preview cards. Um, I know. We all love this card, and I love Luis Huerta, so this is a... A great card to pull in a pack. I'm very excited. And Citizens of Orkana will be excited about the fourth flounder I just pulled. I think he has one already, or I would try to snag it for him. Um, I will say it looks good in foil. The water, the window, it all looks great. All right, we're down to three packs to pull um, a legendary, or an enchanted rare, as they call them. But I will say, with a foil, um, a foil legendary Rapunzel, I think, that's, I think that's a pretty solid, solid hit. All right, 
rare Sword of Truth, super rare Aladdin, and the Common Sergeant Tips. Two packs, two packs, two packs for the Enchanted Rare. I will be interested to see, you know, you all watching this will have to call me on this later. If Rapunzel is not like, I don't know, one of the top three legendaries in the set, um, I will be surprised. You come back, call me out. Um, because I think she's going to be playable. Mickey, Musketeer. Moana, not foil. And then a beautiful foil, Elsa. This card is gorgeous in foil. I love it so much. Um, I wonder if, like with collector boosters, if the non-foil versions of some of the starter deck cards will actually compare to the foil versions or be worth more? Um, that's an interesting question. All right. And for last pack magic. Let's do it. Oh, I see something back there. I see something back there. I see... S Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get a sleeve right. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. All right. Oh my God. Oh my Jeff. Jeff handshake on like like. Oh my God. Y'all, I don't even know. I don't even know. Um, I don't even know what to say. Like to to um, to go a year getting ready for this game, seeing the cards, you know, waiting, and then today to find out that there are secret rares, and then to open one in a pack and hold it in my hand, like on the last pack of a box is a incredible experience. Um, so look, this happened, this happened live in the middle of the Gen Con floor um, with Jeff who handed me his box, who said, hey, I want you to open this. Um, I want you to record it, see if I get something cool. And um, we are seeing an absolutely incredible, beautiful, Full art Elsa. Um, I just, I have no words. I have no words. I'm going to leave it there. Hey, look, this is stunning in person for those of you who don't get a chance to see it. So um, this is incredible. So look, I, I don't know if there are better boxes than this. I'm going to go ahead and say there aren't. Um, for those who are counting, one, two, three, four, five legendary non foils, foil legendary Rapunzel, and then a full art enchanted Elsa Spirit of Winter in the middle of the Gen Con floor. I just, I don't have any words. All right, that's it. I can't say anything else. We did everyone. Um, hey, yeah, sorry, one thing. Last thing, Jeff runs LorcanaCardShop.com. All of these cards will be on LorcanaCardShop.com in the next few days. So go on, go onto his website, sign up. He was gracious enough to let you all see his box break here. So um, go check out his website, LorcanaCardShop.com, and maybe snag one of these beautiful cards. Um, if that's something you do like. But hey, thanks for watching. I've got nothing else to say. This blew my mind. And um, yeah, sign off catchphrase. Hey everyone, I'm sitting here at Gen Con and I just finished up a box break with Jeff of LorcanaCardShop.com. I'm not sure if you saw, we got an Enchanted Rare. It blew my mind. He's so excited. What he said is he wants to give away his Mickey Gen Con promo. All you have to do to win it, comment on this video, Go to LorcanaCardShop.com, sign up on the website for updates. I think you even may get a 20% discount on your first order or something, but sign up for updates, comment on this video. We'll draw a winner. We'll verify that you've done both things. And uh, if it's you, we'll send you this Gen Con promo from Jeff for free. Thanks so much for watching, and um, my mind's still reeling.